Hey guys, welcome to the Captain Fizz and Mask Guy show. On tonight's episode, we are going to discuss some very, very hot topics. You know, first, we are going to talk about racism in the gaming world, which we have all felt and all witnessed. And of course, we are going to be discussing the remakes of very popular TV shows in this coming year. Some have already started, some are yet to come. And here's the music. <laughs> Captain Fizz. And greetings from the Seventh Moon of Thunder. This is a very sick that mask guy coming at you. Sick, but on uh, in studio. Yeah, I, I, maybe I should have phoned in, you know, for this one. No, no, uh, w w no. Uh, you cannot have a show with only one host and a computer. It just no. Oh, I mean, literally, I should just phoned in, and you could have had me on the phone. I could have had you on the phone, but then I would have to listen to you on the phone. And I'd much rather listen to you in studio, which is so much better. I get okay. to see your lovely, lovely face. Yeah, um, you know, you mean my lovely, lovely mask. Yes, well, there's a face under that mask. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Some who. All right, I'm going to let you do most of the talking. Cause... Well, that kind of sucks because I, I unfortunately have a lot to say. And this show may go on for a long, long time. So, you know, most of you are very adamant in the gaming world. You know, um... Well, let's not alienate everyone. Not everyone who listens to our show is a big gamer, but I know a lot of the people that are tuning in today definitely are. Uh, so, I mean, this is a bit of a hot topic that, you know... Yes, it is a very hot topic. Um, something that we have all dealt with over the years, and that is, of course, racism in the gaming world. And it doesn't matter who it's directed to or, you know, what is said. You know, it, it is a very, really bad subject that has, you know, I have had on very countless, you know, occasions over the years, and I... I'm going to list the, the, the games that I've had these issues on. Why? Because they need to be called out. You know, these are systems and games that are, you know, monitored by the people who create them, by, you know, a networking system. They fail to recognize these issues. They fail to acknowledge these issues or fix these issues. So they are, in fact, enabling these racist acts, which end up as hate crimes, depending on how you look at it. You know... Um, all those games where you're looking at, where you are playing as multiplayer, yes, you know, you are playing against people from around the world, which, which is a good thing. You, you, you meet some entertaining people. I've met quite a few, except for the British. I can't understand them. That goes for you, Joker. Um, you know, and I know he's listening because, yo, he, he's at fault on this. Um, <laughs> he told me to talk this subject, and so I'm talking to this subject. But anyways, you know, you... you <coughs> You know, and the one thing is we as gamers need to be very, you know, polite and very friendly with who we're talking about because, you know, yes, we don't see them, but people have feelings, even if they're sitting behind a computer or a phone or, you know, PlayStation, not an Xbox because that doesn't count. Uh, I'm not bashing the people who play Xbox, I'm bashing the Xbox itself. There's a difference. It is a horrible, horrible system that I don't understand how people can play it because it crashes every five seconds. Yeah, I mean, the reason why he went off and, you know, said that last little bit is because I kind of stared at him. Now, it's not that I own an Xbox. God forbid I would ever own, you know, an Xbox whatsoever. But to go off and to alienate, you know, probably a third of 
well, not maybe more than a third, maybe cl- close to half of, you know, the, you know, console gamers that are currently out there. Um, it seems a little unfair. W- once they switch to the Xbox One, that quarter or half, you know, gamers on the Xbox pretty much went to two. Uh, people cannot afford the new system because it's basically 100% like the old system. But that's besides the point. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah, off topic. The, well, you know what? And I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I, I really am. I'm feeling a little under the weather here, so I'm not able to quite interact as much as I usually do. That is fine. I get to talk more, which kind of sucks for all our listeners because this is a hot topic. It, I mean, it really is. I mean, I mean, it's a hot topic, but it's not necessarily a new topic. I mean, this is something that has went on uh, for years and years now, uh, particularly ever since they really started doing online gaming. I know, um, I mean, some, you know, games have, you know, dealt with it better, or people who monitor the games have dealt with it better. I know uh, Blizzard, who does, uh, like, World of Warcraft, they're... They carefully go off and monitor a lot of their stuff. Yes, they they are very adamant. They do <laughs> monitor all you know conversations. If there's a complaint, uh, you know they they do deal with it on a very very timely you know fashion, which is what you need to do on such a very you know hot topic and a very sensitive topic. But I mean, then there's some of those you know games that you can play uh, you know, on the PlayStation uh, Two and PlayStation Three. Uh, that go off. Uh, what's the name of that game? I uh, the game that I have most, re- uh, you know, not most recent, but you know, really dealt with uh, racism and racial slurs is actually you know the whole Call of Duty, yeah. you know, uh, franchise. Very, very common, especially you know, sixteen-year-old kids who, you know, maybe they don't know the true definition of the word, or maybe They're, they really they don't off, care. Let, let's just say that, um, and he has one off. And has been, you know, a lot of the the N word has been dropped several times. Yes, and, 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 and I mean, and on some level, it would be come across quite humorous considering that I mean, this is a you know a six foot two Caucasian man. Yes, be called an N word, but still, I mean, it's not acceptable for us to go off and to use this word. And I mean, it's become a, a growing thing within the black community itself to try to stop using this particular, you know, term altogether. And so for it to be going off and to be used and to be... And nothing is being done about this. I mean, it's not like, you know... I mean, everyone on the game can go off and can hear, you know, these kids going off. I'm not just kids, probably adults as well, using, you know, this sort of language, you know, online for everyone to hear. And nothing's being done to be... uh, to, uh, about this, I mean, a big part of the problem with that, of course, is with the PlayStation Network. Uh, I mean, as it was revealed earlier this year, uh, it's been suggested that the, the terrorists that uh, did the attack on Paris went off and did a lot of uh, their calculations and maneuvers uh, through the PlayStation Network. And so, I mean, the, the, there's some faults there with the PlayStation Network, period, that needs to be go off and fixed. Yes, uh, definitely they need to work on their, their monitoring system. Um, you know, I, I know in this age we all hate, you know, Big Brother. We hate people spying on us. But, in you know, with things like this where, you know, it, it, it's one wor- wrong word can really change somebody's, you know, opinion on a game, you know, on what they enjoy. You know, it, it, it's really a, a very sensitive thing that we need to all focus on. And to make sure that we don't, you know, continue these uh, racial slurs or, you know, racial names as well. Or, or discriminating against someone just because they are a different color, a different culture. Um, you know, w- w- which is a big thing. You know, we all play a game. You know, maybe we play it differently. Maybe we don't. But we all play the same game. You know, no matter where we start, we always end up, this, uh, you know, in the same way, same place. So, you know, we need to be respective of our fellow gamers, whether they be male, female, you know, from from where you live, from across the pond, you know, so, you know, somewhere's, you know, you know, wherever you are, we, we need to respect gamers as they are, you know, gamers are wonderful, wonderful people, 
don't take it for granted. And don't, you know, don't scare a gamer off to the point that they no longer want to play a game that they truly enjoy. I'm just wondering, I mean, this is kind of a sign of, you know, the way our society is kind of going in general. That we even need to be having a conversation on a show that was usually a lot more light. Um, if you, you know, listen to some of our very early episodes, you're aware that... When we started this, I went off and made you a promise that we were going to stay away from specific topics. And one of them was, you know, you know, political issues. This borderlines on political issues, but I mean, this, I think, this is very important. You know, to, you know a big discussion. I mean, this is always a big discussion, you get, especially in this day and age where, I mean, it just seems to be, you know, our society is becoming more and more rude. And, you know... The use of... Rude and ignorant. Rude and ignorant. Uh, and it just... I mean, go, I mean, come on. I mean, I am I have said this multiple times, not on air, but, I mean, it's true. You just can't cure stupid. No, but, uh... But, I mean, you, it can be, you know, you know, monitored, you know... Oh, absolutely. And, you know, um, just today, actually, what, what kind of inspired this uh, conversation... You know that we're having right now is I do play a game. Uh, it is called Invasion. It is ran by a company called Tap for Fun. Uh, recently, today, within the last uh, three hours, there was a member on that game who decided that it would be hilarious to have the Swatiska as their name. Um, after repeated calls, messages to Tap for Fun. They have continued to ignore such requests to have this player either banned or the name taken off. Um, we have done <coughs> research into it. They censor a lot of words, which is really good. They censor Hitler. They censor Nazi. But they fail to censor the Swatiska. You know, that is perfectly able to be put into these people's names. Which, yes, a Swatiska has had many n meanings. But recently, the Swatiska has a very dark, unneeded reminder. And any, you know, person using that in a way for, you know, uh, to anger somebody or upset somebody or use it as a slur towards someone is a hate crime and should be recognized as such. And... You know, as someone who comes from a military background, you know, family who have fought in that war, family who have fought in the military to defend a person's right to say what they want, there are certain things that that should not stand for. And to me, it's offensive. Well, absolutely. No, I mean, I, <coughs> pardon me. I mean, I've had, you know, great uncles and, and you know, and you know, great great uncles who you know, you know, grandparents who went off and had fought in the world wars, and I mean, just I never take my you know our freedom for granted at all. And I mean, this, I mean, what you're really doing with the Swasika, I mean, that's, I mean, not only is that offensive to the Jewish people, that's actually offensive to the Germans as well. Yeah, uh... I mean, the Germans, I mean, God bless them, they have went off and they're stand up people. And, you know, they have done nothing to go off and to hide any of the terrible things that was done in the name of, of the Nazis. I, I have to point out, um, I am part German. You I'm are. Very, I am very proud yeah. of my German heritage. Um, the Swatiska and what it stands for with the Nazi and Hitler is not the German way, was never the German way. Oh, no, it's not. You know, it is one man who stood for anger, hatred, destruction... And that symbol should never, ever be uttered in, you know, society or shown in society because it is a symbol of hate, of destruction, you know, of massacre and murder. And to do something like that is, and to blatantly ignore someone who is using it as such a hate symbol in a game that you have created that you supposedly monitor that you you know care about your users and all that but to ignore that is a disgrace and i just don't understand how our society has gotten so screwed up that we tend to ignore things like this we we you know someone does a racial slur at us you know we laugh it off 
you know, if, for example, you know, they call us an N-word and we're white, we tend to laugh.